archaeologists believe are the oldest known footprints in the United States is sparking new questions and upending long-held assumptions. Mexico, a land of stunning landscapes and hidden wonders, is home to some of the most breathtaking caves on Earth. Within these underground marvels, a discovery shocked the whole world. As explorers went deeper and wider, they made more discoveries that challenged many of what we thought we knew about our history and the fabric of reality. Join us as we venture into this extraordinary adventure. Number 15. An Ancient Fossilized Flamingo Egg Remember the adage that you shouldn't count your eggs before they hatch? Well, it may be because not all of them will eventually hatch. While some might wait until 12,000 years before they're eventually ready to hatch, like this one, found during the construction of an airport in Mexico City. It's like hitting the jackpot in the world's oldest game of hide-and-seek. This fossilized egg, measuring a mere 3.5 inches, emerged from beneath clay, shale, and sediment layers. With its pristine oblong shell, it's a relic straight out of prehistoric times. But what makes this discovery genuinely jaw-dropping is its species origin. Thanks to some analysis of modern-day bird eggs, experts determined it belonged to the majestic flamingo. Hold your horses before you start picturing flamingos strutting around central Mexico. These pink beauties usually prefer warmer, wet climates in the Caribbean and South America. So, what lured them to central Mexico a millennia ago? Climate detectives suggest that central Mexico was a flamingo paradise back then, with balmy conditions and maybe even a salty lake for them to splash in. But as time passed, glaciers and volcanoes played havoc with the climate, sending the flamingos packing for greener pastures. The University of Colorado Museum of Natural History reports that although unusual, fossilized eggs can be discovered worldwide. Small shell fragments are commonly found, while entire eggs and clutches are uncommon. Number 14. A 16th Century Cemetery in Chapultepec Park Amid the bustling activity of modern construction at Chapultepec Park, a team of experts stumbles upon a treasure trove of human remains hidden beneath the Earth's surface. This burial ground dates back to the dawn of the Spanish conquest. It's a tale of two worlds colliding, with echoes of ancient rituals mingling with the arrival of European settlers. According to the National Institute of Archaeology and History, this extraordinary find includes 21 skeletons, each with its own story. From infants to adults, these souls were laid to rest in a manner that reflects the cultural melting pot of the time. As DIG coordinator Maria Dolores Lopez Camacho explains, the burial customs spanned both Catholic and Mesoamerican traditions, offering a glimpse into the era's complex tapestry of religious and cultural beliefs. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, adapting to new circumstances while clinging to age-old traditions. But the surprises don't end there. The skeletons reveal their identities and lifestyles, showing various ailments and conditions. Each detail paints a vivid picture of their challenges in life and death, from malnutrition to infections. This isn't the first time such a discovery has been made in Chapultepec Park, but it's undoubtedly one of the most significant. Number 13. A Pre-Columbian Female Ruler Residents of a quaint Veracruz town stumbled upon a pre-Columbian sculpture, causing quite a stir in archaeological circles. This remarkable find, unveiled during routine road paving work, resembles the famed Young Woman of Amajac. Standing tall at 1.54 meters and weighing a hefty 200 to 250 kilos, this statue packs a punch in size and significance. Experts wasted no time connecting the dots, noting the similarities between this newfound treasure and its predecessor. With headdresses adorned in identical decorations, speculation is rife that they depict none other than a female Huasteca ruler, shrouded in mystery and power. But what's truly fascinating is its glimpse into ancient sculptural traditions. As archaeologist Maria Eugenia Maldonado Vita explains, figures like the enigmatic Thirteen Conejo often appeared in various forms, each with unique identifiers. It's like spotting familiar faces in a crowd, each with their own story. While the original statue dates back to the late post-classic period, this latest discovery hints at an even earlier sculptural tradition, dating back to the early post-classic era. Number 12. Ancient Maya City Dubbed Akomtun, meaning stone column in Yucatec Mayan, this sprawling metropolis is a testament to the ingenuity and sophistication of the Maya people. Lead archaeologist Ivan Sprach 
describes it as a regional powerhouse during the illustrious Maya Classic period, spanning from 250 to 1000 CE. Prepare to be awestruck as you step into a world of towering pyramids, ornate columns, and intricate ceremonial plazas. But what sets Akumtun apart is its strategic location. Nestled on a high ground, surrounded by expansive wetlands, a veritable island of civilization amidst a sea of nature. It's like discovering Atlantis hidden in plain sight. As you explore the ruins, you'll encounter a maze of structures, including majestic pyramids reaching nearly 50 feet into the sky. These monumental edifices weren't just architectural marvels, but sacred spaces for spiritual rites and rituals echoing ancient priests' chants and ball game competitions echoes. Yes, the ball game is a central aspect of Mesoamerican culture, blending sport, ritual, and symbolism. Scholars believe it represented cosmic battles between light and darkness, echoing humanity's eternal struggle. And here, in the heart of Okomtun, archaeologists have uncovered evidence of ball game courts, where champions once clashed in the name of honor and glory. Number 11. Intact Mexican Shaft Tomb For archaeologists, stumbling upon an intact shaft tomb is like finding a needle in a haystack. These elusive treasures are often plundered by looters before researchers even get a chance to glimpse inside, but not this time. Thanks to the diligent efforts of Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History, this tomb remains unscathed offering a rare glimpse into the ancient cultures of Western Mexico. Inside this ancient chamber lie wonders beyond imagination. Each artifact tells a story of a bygone era, from whimsical clay figurines depicting warriors to adorable puppies. These figurines aren't just artifacts, they're windows into the past, humanizing the ancient peoples of Western Mexico in a captivating and endearing way. Throughout history, Western Mexican figurines have been prized possessions, coveted by collectors and artists alike. From Diego Rivera to Frida Kahlo, these masterpieces have captured the hearts of many, leading to a surge in demand and, unfortunately, looting. Yet, against all odds, archaeologists have persevered. Salvage excavations have unearthed tantalizing clues about the ancient civilizations that once thrived in this region. And now, with the discovery of this intact shaft tomb, the possibilities are endless. Number 10. Oldest Footprint Hidden within the ancient sands of White Sands National Park in New Mexico lies fossilized footprints that could rewrite the history books. These remarkable footprints, discovered at the edge of an ancient lake bed, offer a glimpse into the distant past, dating back to 21 to 23,000 years. That's thousands of years earlier than previously believed. Initially met with skepticism, these footprints have stood the test of time, with new research confirming their ancient origins. By analyzing ancient conifer pollen and quartz grains found at the site, scientists have bolstered the evidence for this groundbreaking discovery. But what makes these footprints truly extraordinary is their undeniable human origin. Unlike other archaeological finds that leave room for doubt, these footprints offer indisputable proof of human presence in the Americas during this ancient era. As Thomas Stafford, an independent archaeological geologist, puts it, it's a game changer when multiple methods converge on a single age range. And that's exactly what we have here, a convergence of evidence pointing to a monumental shift in our understanding of human migration. But the significance of these footprints goes beyond mere dates on a timeline. Number 9. Anti-Witch Marks In a secluded cave in the East Midlands lies evidence of a desperate struggle against the forces of darkness. Hundreds of mysterious symbols are carved into the walls known as anti-witch marks. These marks, found in Cresswell Crags, Nottinghamshire, are believed to be the largest concentration ever discovered in the UK, creating a chilling atmosphere that transports visitors to a realm where witches and demons roam. These marks hid in plain sight for centuries, masquerading as mere Victorian graffiti, until their true significance was uncovered. From overlapping Vs symbolizing the Virgin Mary, to crosses representing Jesus on the cross, each mark tells a story of fear and desperation in the face of the unknown. Visitors to the cave are greeted by a frenzy of symbols as a testament to the profound impact of superstition on the human psyche. As archaeologists delve deeper into this cave, they're confronted with questions that may never be answered. Who were the people who carved these marks, and what were they so afraid of? 
Were they protecting themselves from malevolent forces lurking in the shadows or seeking solace in uncertainty? Number 8. Roman Weapons Many of us have not lived long enough to have witnessed the reign of the Roman Empire. Still, this next discovery will transport you right into the twilight of the Roman Empire, amidst the swirling sands of the Judean desert, where warriors of old clashed in battles that would echo through the annals of history. It was a time of conquest and rebellion, where the fate of empires hung in the balance, and the clash of swords heralded the dawn of a new era. Against this backdrop of intrigue and strife, a group of archaeologists ventured into the desert's heart, guided by whispers of a long-forgotten secret hidden within the labyrinthine caves near the Dead Sea. Here, the researchers found a cache of remarkably preserved Roman-era swords, which had been hidden away for nearly 2,000 years in their original wood and leather scabbards. These incredible artifacts, dating back to the 2nd or 3rd century AD, offer a rare glimpse into a tumultuous period when the Judean desert served as both a battleground for Roman soldiers and a sanctuary for Jewish rebels. Experts are astounded by the sword's pristine condition, with their iron blades, sheaths, guards, and handles remarkably intact despite the passage of millennia. Renowned archaeologist Simon James hails them as among the finest examples of Roman swords ever discovered, a testament to their exceptional preservation. The stunning find was made by researchers exploring the En Gedi Nature Reserve, where ancient caves have sheltered humans for over 10,000 years. What began as a routine survey turned into an extraordinary discovery when the team stumbled upon the iron point of a Roman javelin and fragments of worked wood hidden among the rocks. Following this initial clue, archaeologists uncovered the swords wedged behind a curtain of stalactites in an unexplored cave section. The swords, believed to be of the Roman Spatha type, were likely hidden during intense conflict between Roman forces and Jewish rebels. Number 7. Mexican Bigfoot The next discovery is a creature shrouded in mystery and myth in the lush jungles of southern Mexico, the Sisimite, Mexico's version of Bigfoot. Spanning across Campeche, Chiapas, and Quintana Roo, this elusive being roams the dense forests. With its towering stature, hairy physique, and human-like face, the Sisimite cuts a striking figure in the annals of cryptozoology. Sporting four fingers and no thumbs, some even claim it possesses backwards-facing feet, adding to its enigmatic allure. Said to emit spine-chilling screams devoid of language, encounters with the Sisimite are often tinged with fear and trepidation. But where does this mysterious creature come from, and what is its connection to the legendary Bigfoot? According to cryptozoologists, the Sisimite may have traversed the Bering Land Bridge alongside early humans, dating back some 40,000 years. Yet, why it remains confined to the jungles of southern Mexico remains baffling. Some speculate that the Sisimite is a remnant of Gigantopithecus, a colossal ape species native to Asia, while others believe it to be a distinct evolutionary branch of Bigfoot. Regardless of its origins, the Sisimite continues to elude scientific classification, its existence tantalizingly strange. Number 6. Three-Sided Aeroblade in a stunning revelation from the icy depths of Norway's mountains, archaeologists have unearthed a rare artifact, a three-bladed arrowhead used by Vikings over a thousand years ago. Found in the Jotunheimen Mountains, a historic Viking territory renowned for reindeer hunting, this remarkable find adds a new chapter to the annals of Norse history. The discovery, made during a survey by the Museum of Cultural History in Oslo and Secrets of the Ice, has left experts in awe. The four-inch-long iron arrowhead, adorned with three blades, is a testament to the ingenuity of Viking craftsmanship. Unlike its more common two-bladed counterparts, this unique weapon was designed to inflict more extensive wounds on its prey, perfect for hunting reindeer in rugged terrain. Excitement abounds as archaeologists speculate on the arrowhead's purpose. While some ponder its potential as a war arrow designed to pierce chainmail, Experts believe its width suggests a different use, hunting rather than warfare. The significance of this discovery extends beyond its rarity. It sheds light on the hunting techniques and weaponry employed by Vikings in their quest for survival. Each blade tells a story of ancient skills and strategies passed down through generations. Number 5. Chauvet Cave Deep within the heart of France's Aldecha Gorge lies Chauvet Cave. 
a breathtaking testament to the artistic brilliance of our distant ancestors. As you descend into the subterranean depths, the air grows cool and earthy, enveloping you in anticipation. Towering walls reaching up to 40 feet bear witness to millennia of history. Gleaming stalactites hang like chandeliers from above, casting eerie shadows in the dim light. A gallery adorned with charcoal and ocher drawings of creatures long vanished. Woolly rhinos, majestic mammoths, and prowling lions come to life in vivid detail, evoking a sense of wonder and awe. But this isn't an ancient cavern untouched by time. It's a meticulously crafted replica. The Caverne du Pont d'Arc, crafted with painstaking precision to capture the essence of the original Chauvet Cave. Stone-colored mortar and plastic stalactites recreate the cave's mystique, transporting visitors back in time. The story of Chauvet Cave is one of serendipity and discovery. In 1994, three explorers stumbled upon its hidden entrance, venturing into a world untouched by human hands for over 29,000 years. Their awe-inspiring encounter revealed a treasure trove of prehistoric artistry, a glimpse into the dawn of human creativity. Radiocarbon dating unveiled the true extent of Chauvet's significance, pushing back the timeline of human artistry to over 36,000 years ago. With each stroke of charcoal, our ancestors left a legacy that transcends time, a testament to their ingenuity and imagination. Number 4. The Giant Crystal Cave Deep beneath the sun-scorched desert of Mexico lies a hidden wonderland unlike any other. Welcome to the Cave of Crystals, a subterranean masterpiece boasting colossal gypsum formations that defy imagination. Discovered in the year 2000 by miners delving beneath Nyka Mountain, this ethereal cavern is a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature. Within its depths, translucent gypsum beams stretch up to 36 feet, casting an otherworldly glow upon those who dare to venture inside. But how did these monumental crystals come to be? That's where Juan Manuel Garcia Ruiz and his intrepid researchers come in. They've unraveled the secrets behind these geological marvels through meticulous study of trapped fluids within the cave. Submerged beneath the Earth's surface, the crystals thrived in mineral-rich waters with a remarkably stable temperature, around 136 degrees Fahrenheit. In this unique environment, anhydrite dissolved into gypsum, gradually forming the majestic crystals that adorn the cave walls. But the wonders of Nika don't end there. Beneath the Cave of Crystals lies another marvel, the Cave of Swords. Closer to the surface, this cavern boasts crystal daggers that shimmer in the dim light. Offering a glimpse into the region's geological history, the Cave of Crystals is a sight, a horseshoe-shaped chamber adorned with perfectly faceted blocks and towering crystal beams. Stretching nearly 90 feet in length, it's a labyrinth of natural beauty unlike anything else on Earth. Yet, the future of these extraordinary caves hangs in the balance. With the mining company considering the site's closure, questions arise about the fate of these natural wonders. Should the caves be preserved for future generations to admire, or left to return to their natural state? Number 3. Cathedral of Human Sacrifices In the depths of the Mayan jungle, an ancient cavern holds secrets that send shivers down the spine. To reach its hallowed chambers, you must brave a treacherous path fraught with peril, from bumpy rides to claustrophobic swims, but the rewards are worth the risks. Once inside, you'll be transported back to the late classic period of the Maya civilization, when this cave served as a gateway to Zibalba, the feared Mayan underworld. Imagine the scene, torches flickering, incense burning, and ceremonial pots filled with offerings. Here, sacrificial rituals unfolded, sealing the fate of those who dared to enter. Discovered by archaeologist Thomas Miller in 1986, Aktun Tunichil Muknal has revealed its macabre secrets over the years. In the cathedral chamber, the bones of 14 souls lay undisturbed for over a millennium, victims of ancient rites performed in the name of gods. Among them, six innocent children, their fragile remains a testament to the darkness that once engulfed this place. But the most haunting sight awaits, a figure shrouded in sparkling crystals, its form frozen in eternal repose. Meet the Crystal Maiden, an 18-year-old whose tragic end is etched in the silent depths of the cave. With crushed vertebrae and a gaze that seems to pierce through time, she stands as a haunting reminder of the horrors that lurk within. Number 2. 
world's oldest wine. In a stunning revelation, scientists have unveiled the oldest evidence of grape winemaking, tucked away in 8,000-year-old pottery fragments discovered in the cradle of civilization. Buried beneath the earth in two Neolithic villages south of Tbilisi, Georgia, these humble earthenware jars contain the remnants of a beverage that once flowed through ancient hands. Etched with images of grape clusters and dancing figures, these vessels tell a tale as old as time. For centuries, the earliest evidence of winemaking was thought to reside in the distant lands of Iran, dating back 7,000 years. But now, Georgia steals the spotlight with its discovery, pushing the timeline of viticulture back even further. Co-author Stephen Batiuk, a senior researcher at the University of Toronto, declares this find as a pivotal moment in history, marking the dawn of grape domestication solely for wine production. It's not just about making a drink, it's about shaping civilizations, economies, and societies. The significance of wine in human history cannot be overstated. From its origins as a medicinal tonic to its role as a social lubricant, wine has woven itself into the very fabric of our existence. It fueled religious rites, enriched cuisines, and even dictated social hierarchies in the ancient Near East. But how was this ancient elixir made? Number 1. 170,000-year-old roasted vegetables. The charred remnants unearthed from 170,000-year-old ashes in a cave in southern Africa might just be the early evidence of roasted root vegetables, shaking up our understanding of the ancient diet. Led by Lynn Wadley from the University of the Witwatersrand in South Africa, the research team stumbled upon dozens of charcoal bits nestled within an ash layer in the border cave, remnants of fires ignited by early humans. After years of meticulous study, scrutinizing hundreds of modern plant samples under a microscope, the team identified the charred fragments as rhizomes, subterranean stems of a plant from the genus Hypoxis. These rhizomes, akin to modern potatoes, but with a yam-like taste, were likely a staple food source for our ancient ancestors. Contrary to popular belief that early humans primarily feasted on meat, the abundance of these rhizome fragments hints at a balanced diet rich in roasted root vegetables, challenging the narrative of the paleo diet. While the paleo diet often shuns potatoes and grains, Wadley argues that our ancestors' actual diet was a blend of carbohydrates and proteins, with roasted vegetables playing a significant role. But why haven't we heard about this before? Wadley suggests that our understanding of ancient diets may be skewed by the preservation bias towards butchered animal bones, overlooking the importance of plant remains. Even today, some species of hypoxis, like the African potato, are used more for medicinal purposes than as food. However, cave dwellers likely indulged in a species with white-fleshed rhizomes that were far more palatable and suitable for consumption. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends. We've also arranged some others you will surely enjoy on your screen, so enjoy them until we see you in the next video.